G'day folks, it's Brendan here in the labs of East Scoot now. Thanks for tuning in. I'm just going to show you uh, on this video how to go about uh, installing GPS tracking device in an electric scooter. And this is uh, the device itself. Uh, we're going to look at uh, the SIM cards, getting that in, uh, accommodating the trackers physically inside the deck. Uh, we're going to also have a bit of a look at some of our um, wiring harness options available. Um, for connecting power uh, to the tracker uh, and all mobilizing as well and um, demo on this one here which is Unicool T10 DDM pretty common scoot sort of uh, I think there's enough harnesses here now to cover 80% of the personally owned scooter market and probably um, you know 40 or 50 percent of those in that two and a half to six thousand dollar range with the mobilization as well so um, all ready to go and this uh, video is another one we've got should be looked at if you go with a mobiliser which has got more detail on your mobiliser there's also another couple of other videos a bit more technical you know, second one bit commands and that sort of stuff um, so effectively with your, um, your sim card you need to put the sim card inside here so just pop in this sim card cover open and uh, inside there's your sim card now with your full size card don't break it down your full size sim card I like to stick a bit of uh, cloth tape on the back just to give it a little bit of uh, extra traction in the slot. Um, cut it down, um, the, the tape itself, so it fits nice and snug like that one there would, for example. Um, pop in your SIM card in, with the square edges in first, obviously face down for the contacts, um, and off you go. Now the um, card itself is easy to be removed just by sticking it finger or knife, something underneath the SIM card and pulling it out, but I like to have a little bit of extra tape that hangs off the edge so I can hold it there to, to bring them in and out, not that you should need to do that much often. Uh, and then with the lid itself, you're just pushing that um, front end on first and then coming up to the sides <coughs> to bring that through and you'll hear it clip, clip on nice and firm, dust and waterproof. Um, so there's our, our SIM card with activation, which can take somewhere between half an hour to an hour generally, but it, we could go and extend out to four hours. You activate that. It's a five dollar Aldi soon You pick up from an Aldi supermarket, or you can buy online. Uh, and take a week or two to get sent out to you. When you activate it, uh, you hit it with that minimum recharge, which is a twenty-five dollar one, which will give you probably a total of three gig. Three gig of data, more than enough for the year. So that's uh, the five sim plus the twenty-five top up. Uh, sorry, fifteen top up. So that's twenty all up, um, and that gets you by for the year. And fifteen dollars sort of top ups. Uh, each ongoing year after that. Um, so that's that. Subscription wise for the platform, for the tracking platform, we have software. Uh, it's complimentary from the device uh, vendor EE Link. So um, there's no ongoing subscription and it holds your data, I think, there for probably about 90 days. So you can go back and look at your route history, etc. It's just about 20 mobile and that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, SIM card, straightforward. Got a SIM in it, same SIM as what we're going on mobile phone. Okay, so we've, we've got that sorted. And um, so the only other thing you probably then want to look at now is. Um, uh, where you're going to accommodate it. So on this particular Unicool or a Kaboo Manus where you've got a side channel, um, you often have those plastic covers, really good to let the signal out. So face up, the yellow, uh, the white sticker here, um, ideally facing up to satellite and, and phone coverage. Um, in the side channel here, if you're popping it in, um, it's sitting there, going through a bit of plastic. Okay, so that's sort of the placement there. A bit of uh, magic eraser cut down with a Stanley knife is a good way to, to put in there, put a bit of dampening in, you know, cut it to, and fit in there just so it's secure. You don't want it to vibrate around too much, you want it to be with the deck. There's a, there's a gyro when that detects vibration and someone's giving you scooters or your notification on your, on your phone. Uh, movement, so um, yeah, make it part of the deck so it can, it can feel those vibrations of the deck and set the thresholds um, accordingly. Um, a mobilizer demo has probably got some alarm sort of tuning uh, video tips there as well if you watch that video. So, um, on a Dualtron or a V-Set where you've got a bit more room at the front, um, you're generally just going to put the knee face up. You want to go through the deck four or five mil steel, um, or non-steel decks, even better. Uh, but yeah, just sort of get it so it's, it's getting a bit of coverage. Don't sort of push it against your battery. If you're putting it down the side of your battery, whatever you've got there, uh, make sure it's not facing against the battery. Make sure it's coming out through the, the steel. Um, and you get quicker locks. Um, Actually, you don't damage the battery and fringe on the battery and things like that as well because there is a, a bit of chemical inside there. Uh, Alright, so um, so we've got the device, we know where we're going to put it. 
uh, we've um, either got a, a harness that's going to connect to the battery, the XT30 Universal, so 80% of scoops you can use this. Just plug it straight into where your battery would in, connect with your charging ports, generally these GI XT30s. Uh, there's two charging ports in this scooter, so um, we're just going to intercept with one of those, um, and then we're just going to, we're going to plug into there. Um, and track at the back here. So bridging this gap here with the harness um, on a stick. So effectively, we're going to plug our trucker in here. Power uh, from up here. That's the air connect. Um, so I've just grabbed a bit of uh, pipe, bridge pipe, four mil or so, just to run that through the uh, the side channel. Make sure you're not too. Um, Harsh on the charging ports and solder in behind them. Don't stick a metal rod down the back. Uh, mightn't be insulated. So, bringing that through. Now you can bring that through to a point where you're then comfortable in connecting your power XT30 connectors. Just get the clarity right. Yeah, mine. There we go. So now we're, we're coming through here. Now just feeding that through and managing that uh, that cable pull um, and then that will allow you to then bring it out here. Now I've used a bit of uh, cloth tape here, I can't talk highly enough about this uh, cloth tape gear, it's uh, it's fantastic. It's a bit better. Um, you never make the cables too long, so you do need to extend them, there are extenders available uh, on that JST 4 pin connector. Um, Door. You can just get an extension lead like that, just run it as long as you want, you know. So that's that's what that is. So yeah, we've brought our connector up here. It's just a four pin on these. Um, this universal harness also has an orange and yellow uh, wire two pin JST. That's just going to put on accessory uh, or relay uh, connectors to it. Um, but that's you know just do, do so as, as you uh, as you wish. Um, these two are not used. You know, they don't go into there. They're just, um, they're not used. They're SOS button if you want to if you want to think. Uh, so that's physically in, um, cabled. Um, it's got power. Now when it's plugged in, you'll see the lights will come on. There's a red and there's a blue. Um, one's for the GPS and one's for the mobile phone reception. So those lights will uh, will be on there. You'll, you'll see those lights um, displaying. They're not turn off after a while. Uh, you can sort of see them through the the, the battery cover. You normally so the SIM card cover. But normally take a SIM card cover off. Uh, and you can see those lights quite clearly. So with that all in there and powered up, we're all good to go. Um, the other way, uh, if you're going with the universal, uh, sorry, the controller specific harness, um, which a little bit more complex, it's got a relay here, so I've just stuck one up here, there's a relay, a white relay you get. Um, this is a Type B designed for this food, Type A for different types of foods, and other types come in as well. Um, you're interconnecting here on, Cable goes from the controller to the display cell, the JST 16 connector. Not to be confused with five pin connector, but all sensors you sometimes see. So typically the colours will match up um, on your on your scooter. Um, on this end here, on the controller end, you've got your, your orange, uh, yellow, blue, black, uh, etc. In that order, etc. So they're all um, they're all in there. So you can't really go wrong. So finding that connection in your wiring loom area, unplugging your controller from your display throttle and then intercepting that um, connection now with your um, with your wiring harness for the tracker. So everything goes in line, it's obviously power and, and is being sort of interacted with with the relay um, and that's basically how you've now got power and a mobilisation from your scooter with the relay through to your uh, GPS tracker which is just Again, plug in on the end, four pin. Short cable up here, great for tracks up front. You need to get up the back again, extension lead through, side channel bring it up. So effectively, I'll just uh, run that four pin connector off the harness, this one here, up here. So that's that one there. And that's going to connect with a uh, uh, 45 centimetre extension that I've run down the side, which is uh, this, this one here. So I'm um, just yeah, connecting that up into there, plug the tracker in there. And then you're right. So there's your two harnesses. Um, tips with, with accommodation, we've discussed placement helps. Um, I think that's about it. You probably find that you want to make sure that um, 
you do check everything before you go and put the lid on tighten up sometimes the connector can come loose um, when you, you do power the tracker up and you're ready to do your test um, take it outside go for a little walk up and down the road with it it needs to be moving either the gyro needs to be detecting there's some vibration if you've got your vibration alarm on of course um, or if um, yeah, if you've got bad phone coverage in the, in the garage where you've installed or obviously there's no satellite connection, it has no need to go online and, and report anything up, so it'll appear if it's, uh, if it's off, and particularly when the lights turn off to say power, you don't know what's going on here. Um, so that's probably the only other little thing you need to be mindful of once you do your, your, your test run or your test walk effectively, uh, and then you happy with that, make sure all your lights, everything's working, it's fantastic, single fuel, switches, everything's fine, um, you put the lid on, and um, and you're away, and you, you shouldn't need to open that up for the truck for anything uh, for the life of the, of the device. Um, that SIM card at least. So, all good. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Enjoy.